Hello everybody, welcome to Dryer Days Art Studio. I'm Catherine and I'm so happy to have you here today. I want to start the video off today by just saying hi and I hope that you're all well out there. I know this has been a very difficult time for me, uh, not only with the corona, you know, we all have our own personal lives and things going on and I just really hope that you're all doing okay out there. If you watched my um, previous video where I talk about how Dryer Days got its name, um, you know that I am in recovery and know that part of what I start going through is a lot of isolation and I can get a lot of anxiety and depression and I was having a lot of shame surrounding this. I wasn't even admitting to myself that I was having a lot of negative emotions about what was going on around me in the world right now until I started waking up like very panicked. And I know that's a sure sign for me that my anxiety is coming back. So I reached into my recovery toolkit and I remembered something that my very first sponsor taught me and that was to make gratitude lists. Staying in gratitude helps us to focus on the positive things in our life and things that we're so thankful for instead of dwelling on the negative and the scary and the fearful things that are happening around us maybe presently. It helps get us out of that and go into things that we're thankful for. So I have decided for 10 days over on my Instagram, Dryer Days, I am going to do 10 days of gratitude. I'm gonna use the hashtag DDGratitudeDaily. And I'm gonna list like one to three or four or five things, whatever I feel moved to share that day, things that I'm grateful for. I really hope you can join me in this. If you're on Instagram and you want to join in a day or two or the whole thing, please use that hashtag DDGratitudeDaily so I can find your posts and check out what you're grateful for. Seeing what other people are grateful for is always fun too because it reminds me of things maybe that I didn't think of in my own life and really helps uplift me. And I'm basically hoping that I can bring that to you guys. I am so grateful for everything that you have brought me. Uh, the love and support I still receive during this time from all of you and not just on here but on Instagram and in my online store. Thank you all so much. It means the world to me. Uh, this channel, this artwork is such a huge part of my life and to have that positive feedback from you all in this community is just, it's done so much for me and I'm hoping that I can give some of that back to you. So please join me for the DD Gratitude Daily, I guess challenge, I don't know. I didn't really want to call it a challenge because I feel like that sort of makes it sound like it's hard. And, and maybe it is, maybe in times like these, it is hard to find things to be grateful for. But um, I think if we just really dig a little bit and give it a try, it'll really turn things around. It can be the smallest thing to the biggest thing. It doesn't matter. There are no rules here, just things that you are grateful for. Thank you so, so much for being here. I'm so grateful for you all. Uh, without further ado, we'll get right into the video. And until next time, everybody, keep on pouring. Here are the coasters finished that we'll be working on in this video. These are the molds we'll be using. These are the geode slice molds available in my store, dryerdaysartstudio.com. They sold out really quick, so I got a new batch in. I'm so glad you guys are liking them. This is the teal pigment, which is available in my store. And these are all new pigments that I brought in. Um, anything just for you online UK that's left in the store is really marked down. It's almost all the way down to wholesale pricing. So uh, definitely check that out. But these pigments are new to my store. This is the deep blue right here. Blue is one of my favorite colors to work with. And I'm very particular about which ones I wanted to carry and try out. And this is just beautiful, this blue. So that is the deep blue. Get a good shot of it there for you. Gorgeous. And then this right here is my Sherwood Sparkler. And this that I'm starting to mix up here is the white pigment new to my store. Now this one is different again than the Just For You Online UK one. So I'm trying to sell off what I still have of Just For You Online UKs. And then this will be in the store. So again, still have a bunch of stuff from Just For You that's for sale. Go check that out. This is my Sea Pearl Sparkler. It's been a big hit in the store. Uh, the Sherwood there again in the jar. And in my mixing, I had gotten a little bit of the Sherwood flakes on the mold there. So just using masking tape to get that off. Works great on the silicone molds to get any dust or glitter or extra debris off of your molds. And that is the Sea Pearl there. Starting with the glitters first, uh, because I knew I wanted them to be kind of predominant, these coasters. Definitely wanted that to stand out. And because they are a little bit more on the transparent side, um, I wasn't too concerned about being heavy handed with them. Um, and I'm going to lay then the colored pigment over top and kind of around it, as you see there. That is the teal. Yeah, 
And then the blue, I knew I wanted them to be more blue with kind of just the flash of teal in there and it worked out perfectly. All right, and using that new white pigment over the sea pearl. And I will be using another pigment on these it's called Mother of Pearl, right there. And I got this from Laura's Art Corner. It is a La Res product. Very, very pretty. I used it in my cake stand as well that I made. Um, if you wanna see that cake stand video, it's available for my patrons over on Patreon. Uh, you can check out details below on how to support my channel if you would like to, and then you get benefits like bonus videos during the month. And as you can see here, the heat gun, um, I'm using it on these molds. It works great. Uh, just make sure you're using low heat. I would also avoid using the direct flame, like a torch or anything like that, um, on these molds, as you should avoid with any silicone mold. And just going around here and filling in the rest of the molds with the pigmented resin. And then I'll keep using my heat gun to pop any bubbles and to get some beautiful effects with the uh, pigmented resin. I wanted to make sure the resin was in all of the corners, so just gently moving them around quickly. And then squirting here with some isopropyl alcohol. This is 91% rubbing alcohol, and that helps pop a lot of the bubbles that are gonna rise to the surface. You can see there I have it time-lapsed how it's sort of morphing and changing. It's so cool to watch it. Um, I should mention that I did come in and do another layer in there of like the blue on the back of this one and I did white on the back of the white ones uh, just to really fill in the mold all the way. I didn't quite make enough so I waited about four hours and then added in more of that just pigmented resin on the underside of these to fill them in and make them nice and the whole thickness of the mold. These were my first attempts with these molds and I really like them. I like the soft edges on them. They're not too uh, poiky, as my five-year-old would say. And I am using my Krylon metallic marker pens. Uh, they're leafing pen. I will include where you can find those in Amazon uh, down below in the description. I do have an Amazon shop. It's amazon.com slash shop slash Dryer Days Art Studio. And in that shop, I just include for you guys all of my favorite products that I use in my studio. With these, I started with the silver pen and I end up switching to the gold. I decided um, I thought gold would look a little bit better with these colors and I'm really glad that I did. I wanted to try two totally different color schemes uh, to see how these would turn out and I just thought the sea pearl with the white and the share wood with the blue and greens would look really pretty together and I am very, very happy with how these turned out. I do find with these leafing pens, as long as I really let them sit and dry for several days, they're pretty good at not scratching or scuffing off. So I opted not to do a final flood coat on these and this is how they turned out. So you can see how light that sea pearl is against the white and then the share wood, just the beautiful blues, greens and golds in there. Just really lovely, and the edges there done in the metallic leafing pens. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Come find me over on Instagram at Dryer Days. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and check out the description for more ways to support my channel. Love you guys so much. I hope you're staying safe and sane and healthy out there. And until next time, keep on pouring. Oh, my kitty's here. Hi, Celeste. Oh my, okay. Okay, let's get down.